Okay, so uh, this point I can start grinding with my disc. So uh, what I do, as you can see, I turn on my uh, my suction and I start taking off all the oxide surface from from the casting. You see how the surface gets grinded? And this is done all over the surface of the coping in each area. Okay, once that the whole surface has been grinded, let me see if I can put a lens so uh, it's uh, more clear. Okay. Once this whole surface has been grinded, um, I take the next burr, which is my car carbide burr, and uh, with my optical binoculars, I will be uh, working on my margin. You don't need to listen to that suction noise. Here we are. Uh, so I put my die. I put my on my die, my coping. So I can see now everything magnified. And uh, always going on one direction, as you see. I clean my margin also. And I will be going all around in the same way as you've seen. Okay, I've been all around my margin with my carbide burr. Now I change burrs and uh, I will be working on the surface of my coping with this burr. always going in one direction and I will keep doing this job that you've seen okay once I have finished uh, using uh, the thick burr I will uh, smooth all over with this thinner thread. Make sure everything is smooth. No sharp corners. Because you won't want any sharp corners on your framework. The ceramic might crack off under stress. And so once I will be over this, you see every once in a while, um, I take my caliber and I keep measuring to uh, to keep track of how the thickness of the coping is doing and uh, we're doing very well here we're keeping a 0304 thickness uh, I could pull it even thinner but uh, I guess I have some excess space that I need to fill up so this will be just fine This coating will be uh, will be ready for going through uh, thermal treatment. Now, thermal treatment is another uh, procedure that belongs to the to the working phases of ceramics. Okay, so. Uh, we're done with this one now. We're done with this coping. Here it is. And uh, it fits fine on my die. Uh, I'm satisfied with it. And uh, I can fit it on my model. This is 
okay at this point and uh, I can check and, and see if I'm okay with my uh, my spaces I guess I can do like this this is fine and uh, uh, I guess we can proceed it's uh, fine we have just one spot there but that but that's plenty you got plenty of room so we can go on and uh, that's uh, that's all there is with uh, metal finishing now we've seen one coping done but of course now that we will have to treat this seven units it's going to be a whole other ball game because there's uh, many things involved that you're checking uh, we have connectors that need to be refined in a certain ways and there's spaces and the protrusive movements so uh, this case is going to be uh, much more uh, it's going to be a little bit more heavier to get done and uh, I won't be filming it because I believe that you know I need to put my uh, my attention on it. So uh, so that's it now, and uh, we will see what's going to come after with the thermal, what's necessary for uh, going through the thermal conditioning of the metal.